Let's go back to this hard-hitting uh, blog uh, by Finance Minister Arun Jaitley slamming Congress on its divisive and dynastic politics. Arun Jaitley starts this uh, very, very extensive and comprehensive blog by saying that the debate whether India should be a dynastic democracy has been ignited by a self-goal, quote-unquote, of the Congress party, referring to this uh, recent spate of attacks mounted by various Congress leaders, where they have repeatedly attacked Prime Minister uh, for uh, and dragged in Prime Minister's age, uh, mother's age and lineage in campaigning in recent poll-bound states. Uh, furthermore, Arun Jaitley is also mentioning that the Prime Minister's mother's age, age was made a subject matter of the recent electoral debate, and his father's anonymity was commented upon as an inadequate credential of the Prime Minister. And as he goes on on this uh, particular blog, he's also posed those three pertinent questions for the Congress to respond as Abhishek, our executive editor, continues to stay with us on this big story. Well, it's very clear with the kind of, uh, uh, you know, arguments and counterattack used by Arun Jaitley, Finance Minister, it's going to be really, really difficult for Congress to respond to this and explain the whole rationale behind dragging Prime Minister's background, uh, family background and caste in these uh, election campaigning that we have seen recently? You know, uh, Sakal, uh, Arun Jaitley, the finance minister, is actually building a case uh, connecting the debased politics of name-calling that we saw from the Congress party in uh, the ongoing elections uh, to a certain narrative that has been built around the first family of the Congress party, uh, glamorizing them and... Uh, and doing them with all attributes of good politics, uh, while, for example, he narrates in detail how Sardar Patel was, uh, you know, uh, turned into a second-rung leader of the Congress party with a very active plan or design to, you know, uh, discount his role or not discount his role, at least discount his uh, uh, post-independence uh, uh, positioning. So, for example, uh, Arun Jaitley writes that when Sardar Patel passed away, Pandit Nehru, the then Prime Minister, actually wanted that not many ministers should go, should go and take part in the funeral or that when Sardar Patel's statue had to be put in Delhi, uh, while the initial suggestion was for Vijay Chowk, it was put somewhere else uh, so that the whole focus remains uh, on the first family of the Congress party. And that is the reason why when some leader, uh, for example, in the present case, uh, someone like Narendra Modi, who rises from the grassroots uh, and uh, makes ah. a space for himself... That is grudged by the Congress party and the entire machinery, which focuses entirely on lionizing and glamorizing the first family, starts hitting back uh, at uh, leaders like Narendra Modi who rise uh, from the ground up uh, and rise through the ranks uh, and make a space for themselves. Uh, so that's uh, what uh, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has brought out, not just, uh, uh, not just uh, talking about the debasement of politics, but actually going into the root of it, which according to him is, the dynastic politics that has been practiced yes. by the Congress party circle. Hasn't this really, because it's a very comprehensive blog, really ripped apart Congress's repeated politics of abuse and this latest casteist, classist approach? I mean, there have been videos which have gone viral where Congress hasn't explained its position. Although we have heard Rahul Gandhi trying to ask uh, C.P. Joshi to apologize for his comment, but that has not really happened. So don't you think this really exposes Congress's mindset when Arun Jaitley says that the argument given is that the Congress rep thinks they representing the legacy of a one well-known family is a political point in favor, and that's exactly what exposes Congress. Well, absolutely. And uh, uh, the finance Okay, finance Abhishek, stay with us. Uh, Abhishek, I'm sorry I'm interrupting you here. In fact, you can also pose a question to Gansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party. Gansham Tiwari, response, quick response to this very hard-hitting blog by Arun Jaitley, where it has slammed Congress for its uh, only a branded political surname means everything and uh, the merit doesn't mean anything. Well, Arun Jaitley should ask, whether he's writing as Ali or is he writing as Bajrang Bali? Is, is this a, a election only about this kind of trivial issues when finance minister has to speak about the job crisis that the nation is facing? Unfortunately, these leaders, in their arrogance, have uh, totally removed themselves out of touch with people. As a result, they like commenting on things and they think that they can create cheap headlines. This is Arun Jaitley's effort to create a cheap headline. No, but... 
it was the Congress first which created headlines. Excuse me, uh, uh, Gansham Tiwari. Let, let's let's stick to the let's stick to the counter what by the Arun Jaitley, the, the finance the minister. He the, says the that the, the prime minister. One second, respond to this, sir. Gansham, Gansham, one second, respond to this. He says prime minister's mother's age was made a subject matter of electoral debate, and he's right here. Do you think that is really a matter of electoral debate, prime minister's mother's age or his lineage or his background, for that matter? Well, it is for me to ask that this is the most abusive cabinet that India has ever seen. And uh, when Arun Jaitley takes writes a blog, it means that he has too much time at hand and he does not care about the crisis that nation is facing. That BJP leaders, ministers, cabinet ministers have time to do, go and do door-to-door -door campaign in Rajasthan, in Madhya Pradesh, go and okay. write, write meaningless blogs like that, figure out ways to create... All right, headlines. so Gansham Tiwari... Okay, so you, you, all right, all right, Gansham Tiwari, many thanks uh, for sharing your thoughts. Uh, Samajwadi Party's Gansham Tiwari says that this is nothing but a bid to make headlines in media. Well, referring to Arun Jaitley's blog here. We take a short break here on Republic TV and we'll be back with more news and updates. Stay with us.